and you can use the screwdriver that's included with the kit to screw it in. That's number one. And number two. Now what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to switch screwdrivers because this one's actually getting a little slippery in my hands. Well, let's see, I'm almost there. Let's see, let me unscrew it a bit. Let me unscrew a couple of the other ones. Make it a little bit looser. Make it easier. And let me try one more time. There it goes. Yeah, sometimes uh, since these things are machined so precise you know, they, they fit so snugly that sometimes, you know, if it's not mounted in right, if it's not just at the right angle, you're going to have a hard time putting it together. But I would suggest you do in those times just what I did right now is just backtrack for a second, loosen something, retighten, and retighten again. And you should be good to go. So, there we have it. We're now mounted the PCBs on the actual chassis. We've got the servos and we've got the battery box underneath. And that completes step five. Now, preparing the wheels. So basically it looks like these are the wheels and we definitely have to do something with these rubber bands. Uh, so this basically says here we're going to have to take these and stretch it around. Stretch a tire of each wheel and adjust so that the tire is correctly centered across the wheel. So let's see here. Now this is just for grip, to tell you the truth. Um, these are plastic wheels. So therefore they're not going to grip very well unless they have this on it. This isn't uh, necessarily the easiest thing to put on but and again we don't want it coming off too easy either so there we go. That seemed to be pretty simple to put on for mine. Attack. Now it says to center it. So it doesn't take much here. It's got to finagle a little bit. Second ear way. Put this right on the center where it has to be. So that's one. Go ahead and do the other. So this is a very simple concept. I mean, just to a basically a thick rubber band goes around the uh, plastic wheel, and that's it. I mean, uh, you know, not much more to it. And yeah, look if it's nice. And I can see that there's some grooves here. So I prepared the wheels. Now basically, I'm done with step six, and on step seven, which basically says got the wheel. So that's pretty simple. So we're gonna take that and just flip it in place done. Now we're going to use the screws that we used from before to actually hold the wheels in place. So these screws that I had from before are when I took apart little uh, pieces from the servos. Now one thing I want to make sure you know is do not tighten, over tighten these. There we go. It's screwed in just as expected. Remember it came from when I took off this piece from the servos. Now let me go ahead and do the other side. And we'll be ready to screw this one in here. Wow, 
this is great. I've worked with a lot of robot kits and this kit itself. Very simple together, very straightforward. And the best part about it is I have to leave my desk to go buy some new tools or things I didn't have. Um, I have not really used my pliers or my uh, pliers or my uh, wire strippers so much. Used it once, but I didn't really have to. And uh, plugged in. So now we've mounted the wheels. Now it says mount the scoop. The scoop itself is that little shovel piece that I was calling it before. So we're calling the shovel before actually. So that goes mounted to the front. Two of these 440 screws. So basically these are the smaller ones. We haven't used them yet in the project. So this is be the first time you use them. So those mount easily flip this upside down and use an ear to just kind of hold it in place for them. and we have the second one here now what I can see from this is that this is around so what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to put these in place I'm not going to tighten it too much and now I'm going to take the time to actually center it this one I think I tightened too much. Gives you a lot of play right here. I'm actually going to set this piece. I'm just with my eye, I'm not really doing a perfect set. Well, we're going to need the purpose of the project, but well, there we go. That's it. That's uh, the scoop is mounted. Now move on to installing some of the components that come with the sumo bot itself. As you can see, here's the component, or here's the actual bot.